In this tutorial I will show you how to add a border in Photoshop in two different ways. Watch till the end and I will present you a free Photoshop border action that you can use for fast results. The action contains 10 Photoshop actions for creating simple borders and creative borders for your images. So let's see exactly how to create a border in Photoshop. In this method, method 1, I will add a stroke layer style to the image and then you can see you've got options such as position size and so on for position if we have it as inside and pick a color you can see that the border depending on the size of pixels bites into the image it creates a border but it bites into the image so you lose a part of the image you can see what that does there the downside is not just that it bytes into the image but you can see the other problem here we have pixels and we can't do in inches or millimeters and so on but we can fix the inside problem by choosing outside as we just did in the style and you can see that it has created a border on the outside but it's created a curvature um, a rounded border that may not be suitable for most people So the right way to create a Photoshop border is this method. We increase the size of the canvas relative by let's say 50 and you can choose what size you want. Then you create a new layer, let's call it border one or border frame one. And we fill the entire layer with white when we send it to the back, it's created a nice border. Now we can repeat the bro this process to create a double border. So we're going to create an even bigger border. We're going to say, well, 100 relative increase in size. And now we have a second border frame being created. We fill this second one. We have to put that all the way to the back. We fill it in with, let's say, white but we can change the color now by going to the color overlay once again and choosing something like red, for example. This is the best method for adding borders in Photoshop. Again, we set the size and the color of the image instead of the color overlay. We can add a pattern overlay layer style to create a wooden frame, for example. The creating borders in Photoshop process can be automated for quick results. In the description of this video, you have the link to this free Photoshop frame action. You can add a PSD borders to your images using these actions. So let's look at one border outside. Simple. When you play the action, it has created a border for us. Very quick and easy. Now we choose the three borders, for example. For each, for each frame, it asks us what the size we want. We leave it as the default and you can see it has created three frame borders for us. We can change the color overlay of each by clicking color overlay and so on. And we can do this for each of the three borders that are presented. Now, the two transparent borders is one of the creative ones. Once again, we have some options. We can choose opacity and so on. But if you leave it to its default, it creates this interesting, interesting effect that is quite attractive. The three stacked frames action does an even more interesting and creative design. It puts three stacked images on top of each other and applies even some drop shadow to make it look really authentic. And rotated stacked images is similar, but it rotates the images and gives it an even more iconic feeling. What is great about these actions is that you can add border to multiple images using the Photoshop batch option, which you will find under the automate menu. Now you know how to add frames in Photoshop. 
If you like our Photoshop tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching.